Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Thought of the day. If God bring you to it, he'll bring you in it and through it. Anytime you try to go forward in life, anytime you try to make progress, there will be opposition. But with God on your side, you can stand your ground. And you know all things work together for the good of them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose, and nothing will move you from trusting in God. We are never alone. God will always be with us. I always remember that. Why go on my people? Open Monday now, okay? Open Monday now, right? People, give thanks to life for the gathering. Give thanks to life for the gathering. It is Sunday. I want only passing things still go out the news and the no one's on the company this platform. Yeah? We will come for we laugh the news. So we'll land it now. The police them say they need help for find three little piece of tail girl. But let me tell them something. Them the same place in the community. The people them see them, you understand? I tell them go and go and go and take. Yes. Tell them a little bit near gang gang tech. Let me tell the people they want power one. Go on. The authorities are searching for three female wards of state who escaped from the Homestead place of safety in Stone Hill, St. Andrew, sometime between Thursday night and Friday morning. Mrs. Person was also found on Friday at the Stone Hill Police Station for the girls who are ages 14, 15, and 15. The girl reportedly breached a permit offense and made their escape. A senior member of staff told her news team that the girl were protesting. And it culminated in their runaway. They were on the washroom top where we had a tank. We were trying to get them down. The police came and were trying. It was four of them up there and we pled to them and one came down. But the other three didn't budge. Our news team was told that the girl in question are repeat runaway. Let me tell you something. Them all is a runway. All need for them. I been mean, like about camp. Put them in a wish part them can move right up a JDF right there and there. So make them turn. Tell them run from up my son. Tell them run from up my son. But people are never still enough. Them that the community attack daily. Yeah, man. And the people them that the community see them. But guess what? Them no want to tell the police them. I hope when the police them find them, they lock up everybody who live beside the yard with them in. People tell me share them in. So I can't tell the police them to come over to come dig up some people. You understand? I'm a tough fox up with some people too. You yeah, walk one, pal, walk one. A St. Daniel man was abducted and held hostage was on Saturday rescued by the joint police military team. The man identified as Marlon Jones was reportedly missing on Thursday, August 31st. A controller man Target operations across multiple divisions were launched after they received a credible intelligence from multiple sources, including the public. The police said that multiple arrests were made in relation to the abduction of the 46-year-old man. The lawman stated that investigations are ongoing to identify and arrest all persons involved in the incident. So, more arrests are expected to follow. Hold on. Don't waste your time. So we have the time to arrest nobody else. I'll slap one of the slap them away. Report reaching our news that Jones, who is from the community of Arcadia, was last seen on Tuesday, August 29, in the CV Garden here in St. Andrew, wearing a black shirt, grey and black shorts, and a pair of grey clerks. An appeal was made for anyone knowing Jones' whereabouts to contact the Grand Point Police Station, which the people them call in and talk one holy thing. And for the police, them when they find him, slap who then get rid of him. Them not do that. You understand? Them not want to ransom still, but them not get a ransom. It's a funeral them should I get. Anyways, more news. The police in St. Anna are investigating the theft of $1 million from the vehicle of a contractor after he conducted a transaction at a financial institution on Friday. Let me tell you something. You see that bank teller that we have got to, they need to go back and go find off him or her, he, she, whatever it be, Ed. Them call them friend and make them friend rob you. 
because a them alone no say you have this one million dollar upon you. Them alone no say you have this one million dollar upon you. Can right now the bank you come from and as you leave them thief it. Report that the complainant conducted transaction and parked his vehicle with the money along Church Street in Brownstone. He reported he exited the vehicle for a short while, leaving the money behind. Upon his return, he realized that the money was stolen from the vehicle. The matter was subsequently reported to the police. But all you know, understand still. You cannot just so much money left in a vehicle and walk up and down. But all you big and full full too. But anyway, go and go blame them up at the bank. You understand? The teller to be exact. Anyway, the police them said they need the help. You understand? The sleepy is sleep. The police them don't know who they attack already. The Pine Street police in Montego Bay St. James are carrying out investigation to the death of an unidentified male who was shot and killed by armen in downtown Montego Bay Thursday night. The dead man is said to be of dark complexion, slim build, about six feet tall, sporting a low hairstyle and was clad in a white t-shirt, grey underpants and blue jean shorts. Remember, remember, good. He pants over the body waist. You understand? Report in news that about 8.40 p.m., the unidentified man. The unidentified man was in the process of purchasing a sandwich from a food vendor who operated the vicinity of the Lucky Dollar store in Sabershark Square when he was pounced upon by armed men. The man opened fire, eating him multiple times before escaping on foot in the area. The police were summoned up on the arrival. Guess what, people? Them see the man lying face down in a pool of blood with multiple gunshot wounds. They just pick up his body, throw it in the back of the van, Get up at the hospital or put it down for ICE. You understand? Now, them ask the people, them, yo, come, come, come tell our relative names so we can tell the people them. No matter me, because him dead and there are nothing, you no don't come. You understand? Instead of the money in my pocket, maybe they are used by the sandwich. So, you can get that. Okay? Anyways, now, more news. 21 year old Mali Morgan of Penwood Road in St. Andrew has been charged in relation to the death of 26 year old Jason Bennett of South Avenue in St. Andrew on August 24th. Report reached news team that about 7 45 pm, Morgan and Bennett had a dispute during which a knife was used to stab Bennett. He was taken to the hospital, and guess what, paper? Right, pa, I stem got put him because him reached up there and him did dead. Morgan was subsequently arrested and later charged with murder. His court date is being finalized. But can I tell you something? I fix them fix in business. This is boy your business need to get fixed. Anyway, now more news because another person crashed and dead. Let me tell you now that go now. A 53 year old woman is dead after the car she was traveling in crashed into an embankment in Monique St. Anne. She has been identified as Caroline Wilson of Homestead District, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Let me tell you now the come down go now. Information which you know news team that about 5.20 p.m. Wilson was a passenger in a Suzuki motor car which was reportedly being driven by a relative. The lawman said the motor car was proceeding towards Miami Bay from Spanish Town when the driver lost control and guess what people? Clat up in our embankment. Wilson and the driver were both taken to hospital which part the driver was admitted and Wilson Go, go lay down park ice, speeding cars, all that is. I cannot believe, say, Wilson sit down in the car. And I said, look, relative, I speed and see there. Eh? Because they never tell him taking time, you dead. He believe to tell the tale. He not really focus on the people. He not really supposed to go so. Me, I'll be honest with you. Though. Anyway, I can't move on.